Hey there, in today's episode we're going to be talking about how to create a cloaked material like how to make your character invisible but in a uh, in an artistic way so if you see here there are a little bit of animation as well there's refraction and it's all um, being played on Android Previewer something to note here I've been um, asked about this a lot is that how do you <laughs> have this one here it's easy just go into settings uh, preview platform and you have the OpenGL or Vulkan if you want to use Vulkan um, a lot of devices out there don't support Vulkan so it's not like a like the greatest option out there but OpenGL is like widely um, being used in all of the uh, Android devices or if you're working on uh, iOS, iOS Metal Mobile is your um, best way to go, best chance to see if there's anything wrong. <clears throat> okay, so let's get started. So the cloaked is like a material and for that we have to go into our um, folder that we're storing the materials. For me it's story content where I'm um, doing everything in here. Go into the materials, um, right click if you can find a uh, space and create this one material and name it something I've named it um, cloaked M underline cloaked so double click on it and open it up the first thing um, that you'll see is like you have nothing in here okay uh, it's, it's not gonna be what you uh, will be seeing the first time you open the material later um, there are some things here and there you have to do so let's get to uh, into them the blend mode uh, its default is opaque we need it to be translucent shading model could be on lit as well we don't really need it to be lit but uh, anyway we need the normal node and for that we have to go all the way down here in the lighting mode you know what's weird about this is that if you have it lit you can change it to non-directional and then make it unlit and you still have the normal so that's cool so shading model unlit um, this one lighting mode if you have the option to change it volumetric non-directional uh, come in here type in refraction this is a new thing uh, it's been added um, in Unreal Engine 5.2. Refraction method is gonna be index of uh, refraction, and then you have all these uh, options here that you can use. So hold one on your keyboard. Don't uh, change the value. We don't really need it. Connect it to the opacity. You have nothing, but you have a little bit of refraction because you've um, turned it on here. If you don't have any refraction, you'll see nothing. So in this index of refraction, and then um, do you have the refraction uh, input here? So hold one on your keyboard again. For me, it's gonna be a value of 0.8. So type in 0.8, and then you have something like this. So let's see it in action. So this is my um, this is my character. It's cool, it looks really good, but the problem is that it doesn't really have any animations in it as long as you don't move. If you move, it's cool, it looks really good. But I want a little bit of more details in it, so let's get into that. Let me delete this one. So this is the little piece I've created here just to um, make sure I have a little bit of animation. You have uh, a node called noise that's not really um, performant in the engine so I'm not going to be using that one instead I'm type I'm gonna be typing texture sample and in here you can just um, type in noise or if you have any other noise texture you can use those as well it's, it really doesn't matter but for me um, the T online noise 01 is a uh, an engine texture so I'm gonna be using that so let's select it um, and then we have a little bit cool uh, a little bit of 
a cool technique here we're going to be using it's that we have two or even more textures that are uh, all animated by the panner so at the end you'll see something like this this is just two textures one of them is going left one of them is going right and then they'll be uh, multiplying by each other so let's start it. Type in Hanner. Um, right click, start previewing mode. And this one can go a little bit to this direction and then a little bit to this direction. And then we want to use it as a normal input, right? So we need um, XYZ for the texture or. Uh, we need two, three vectors, R, G, B. So let's start with the R. I'm gonna be using the smooth step because I want it to be a little bit, this one should be um, connected to the value. I want to get rid of, uh, get rid of some of the uh, details in the texture here. So I'm going to go ahead and do something like one or you can go all the way to five doesn't matter but uh, as you can see I've tested a lot of things and with point one it's not like you can't really see the animation pretty well so I end up using something like point one oh, point one we'll do the same control C control V for the G value we don't want the B value we want the B value to be always um, set at 1 because we are going to be using it as a normal map then we are going to be append vector so now we have a um, 2d vector it contains r and g we need another one for b so we can do the same thing Control c Control v just change the uh, speed a little bit maybe you can put a minus here so there in the opposite direction and then they are going to be multiplied by each other so if you come in here right click start preview mode you have some animation here right uh, it's just that for it to be uh, being used in the normal input it, needs, it doesn't really look like this it should be looking like something that's kind of blue so we have to go ahead and create an effect vector I'll hold one on your keyboard and this one should be one and right click boom we have a normal map here so we can just go ahead and connect it to the um, normal input so <coughs> if you stop preview node you have uh, a little bit of animation here that you can see Yeah, see, there is a little bit of animation. So I want a little bit more animation in it. And for that, I'm going to be using the uh, power node. Power, okay. Uh, right click, start preview node to see what we have. Maybe something like point 0.1, this is too much, point 0.5. So I ended up using point 0.6, uh, 8, pardon me. And then this is what I end up using. It looks really cool. It looks dynamic. Uh, when the character is static, when the character is not moving any uh, anything anywhere, um, there's a little bit of animation whatsoever. So how can we use this material in our um, in our character? So to do that, go to your world settings. If you don't have a world setting, go to window world settings and then in here you have the default pawn class <coughs> so this is the um, event I set up for the for the clocked events um, so I'm using the debug key C but I'm at the end of the day I'm working on a mobile project so I can't really use any debug key in a mobile project so I have to use a custom event and uh, connect it with a UI 
Um, so I have the custom event here. I'm gonna be using it later on, but you can type in C key. You have the debug key C, and then flip flop. It means that uh, when you press the C button, it will do the A. The next time you press it, it will do the B. So that's something really cool. Flip flop. This one here. Uh, it's just a changing of the material if you have a groom asset like hair if you're using metahumans and you have hair then you have to make sure that it's uh, visibility is set to um, disabled it's not gonna be visible and then you have to just change the materials to what you've created so make sure it's selected in the um, content browser and then go ahead and so uh, just drag everything in like mesh set material this one here and then just use this arrow and then you got it make sure you do this with every aspect of your character if the character is containing a lot of like face legs feet torso make sure all the um, details are using the same material that you want them to use so and the element should be correct as well so mesh torso feet legs they're using the same element as element zero. If you pay attention there, they all have just element zero, but face has a lot of different elements. <coughs> so for the mesh torso fit legs that are sharing the same element, I'm using this um, set material node with the element index of zero material is cloaked, which we've just created. But for the face though, we have like lots of elements so we have to go ahead and see which one we have to change uh, element 12 is what we're using for the face it's LOD 0 I have a LOD thing if you're using metahumans you have if you're using metahumans you will have LOD sync uh, or if you don't have it I'd suggest you go ahead and add it it's really um, it's really useful and for us it's showing that force LOD is 2 and if you come in here force LOD is element uh, 11 but this is for PC if you're working on mobile it just goes uh, one level down to element uh, to LOD 3 which is element 12 element 12 here and then we need to change the eyes and uh, the teeth which are one, three, four, one, three, four, and that's it. We don't really need to change anything else. But if you use the cloaked for the eyes and the teeth, it wouldn't, wouldn't really look good. So for that, I've created uh, another material. I'm not gonna be showing that right now. You already know how to create a new material. Uh, just make sure it's blend mode is masked, shading model is unlit. Uh, and just hold one on your keyboard zero and connect it to emissive color and opacity mask and that's it just make sure that uh, the eyes and the teeth are completely visible the UV is, is a little bit different though so if you pay a real really close attention you'll see some um, it doesn't really look good but um, for to fix that you have to change the mesh entirely and we don't really want to do that at all right now so when you created the invisible you just go ahead in here um, select it in the content browser and use this arrow to select it on everything and then the groom asset I'm using I'm only using hair um, by the way groom asset works on um, deferred rendering for mobile asset uh, for mobile games but it really doesn't work in Opal uh, or, or it uh, didn't work in OpenGL in Origin 4 if you can make it work in OpenGL that's really cool but I wouldn't really think it's it's gonna work anyways uh, but to be sure just go ahead and set the visibility to set visibility to uh, and then you have to for the uh, reset event you have to make sure that everything uses the correct material 
which in our case mesh we've used the same uh, node the same set material node for all of them but to reset them we have to reset them by one by one by one which uh, you just have to go ahead and select legs select the materials make sure the uh, use the arrow make sure the material is correct in here and so on and so forth uh, just make sure you reset every material and you reset the visibility of the groom asset you're using and that's pretty much it and when you go into the game hold, uh, you see the characters invisible or um, artistically invisible because this guy is definitely visible to me um, and then when you hit C again he's back to normal mode um, and that's it I hope it helped you and if it did please hit that like button and have a great day bye